1485 to 1603 was a memorable time in English history because the country was ruled by a ruthless family who went by the name of the Tudors. In total there were six Tudor queens and kings. Some got away with terrible things. Their exploits will possibly make you cringe. So Tudor number one step out of the wings. My name's Henry the Seventh, and my position was sealed when I defeated Richard the Third down on Bosworth Field. This ended a war which left the country divided. It's when I chose Liz of York to be my bride. It united the houses that weren't getting along. I designed the Tudor rose to symbolise the bond. My reign was quite prosperous. Then in 1509 I died, and the throne went to the next in line. Hold my chicken! Wear up the name's Henry the Eighth to be precise, and I'll let you decide if I was nasty or nice. I got through six wives in my quest for a son. I divorced the first, Catherine of Aragon. When the marriage hit the skids, I went and asked the Pope if we could call things off, and the Pope said nope. So I formed the Church of England, who answered to the King, which meant I could get away with anything. I finally had a son and rightful heir with Jane Seymour, but she died. Life can be unfair, but I kept getting married, and my reign was quite notorious. I died. In 47, now get back to the glorious. 1485 to 1603 was a memorable time in English history because the country was ruled by a ruthless family who went by the name of the Tudors. My name's Edward the Sixth, and I'm aged nine. I'm the new king of England, so that throne's mine. I was only 15 when I passed away, but I made sure the next queen was my cousin, Lady J. Thanks for nothing. So I was handed the crown, but I never wanted it. I was only put in charge to stop the country turning Catholic. I reigned for nine days, then I was royally booted off the throne by Mary Tudor, who had me executed. 1485 to 1603 was a memorable time in English history because the country was ruled by a ruthless family who went by the name of the Tudors. and I don't know what the problem is. I'm just restoring order by reverting to Catholicism. You say that I'm bloodthirsty, but for goodness sake, I only had a few hundred people burnt at the stake. I was the first queen regnant. Yeah, I needed no king, and I reversed the reformation amongst other things. I died in 1558, and to make things worse, the throne went to my sister, Lizzie the First. So pass me the sceptre, I'm the Protestant Queen And I soon got England back to living the dream The Elizabethan era lasted 44 years When we got to know the works of William Shakespeare And met Sir Francis Drake, who I think you'll find Was the first to sail the world on the Golden Hyde But like my name was Dwayne Johnson, I had no heir So when I died in 03, the Tudor reign ended there 1485 to 1603 was a memorable time in English history Because the country was ruled by a ruthless family who by the name of the Tudors. 1485 to 1603 was a memorable time in English history because the country was ruled by a ruthless family who went by the name of the Tudors. I mean, I think that song left a lot of information out. Well, if anybody listening to this wants to find out more, they could just Google it. Well, uh, what, what do you mean, Google it? I'm not entirely sure. Google it. It's a, I believe it is an ancient hunting weapon or a dance. Or a type of hat. Yes, or a type of hat. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, anyway, best be off.